Hey all you lovely Leos, this is Zahara Stars with Illum Astrology. I'm going to be giving you your February 2018 astro weather forecast. As you know, you're the star of the show. You're the star of the show. We had the lunar eclipse that just occurred in your sign. It's in your first house, has everything to do with your identity, who you are, how you present yourself, your physical body, who you want to be, what you're going to do. It's all about you shining in the spotlight. So a lot of you are going to be discovering um, and coming across a lot of new opportunities, a lot of new ways to uh, become more, I guess, authentic to yourself. Um we are having the other solar eclipse in your opposite sign, in the sign of Aquarius, which is ac- which is actually highlighting your partnership house. Um, so it's all about you, and it's all about you and others, about you and your relationships. Um, you know, eclipses bring about uh, endings and new opportunities, but they bring about opportunities after the endings. So there's a lot of new opportunities that are going to open up for you guys. And I know that you guys like to shine and you guys always shine no matter where you are. Um, but this is going to be really, really, really spectacular for you because these are two really important houses, the house of you and the house of others, um, and the house of your partners and partnerships and relationships. So those of you that are single could definitely meet somebody new in the next few months if you haven't already. Those of you that are involved, if the partnership is unhealthy in some way, you might reconsider it. Um, But it's going to bring in uh, a lot of activity. You're going to be really busy uh, in these houses, busy with yourself, finding out who you are, what you want to do, any changes you want to make in your appearance or um, starting a new way of doing things. Uh, if you are uh, in the public eye, which you more than likely are, even if you're not, um, but if you're in the public eye, you might come, uh, you might find a new way to present yourself. Um, and this is going to also draw in new partnerships and new people into your life as well. So this is very exciting just to start out February. February is going to be a really, you know, the beginning of the month has been, is a little more active than the later part of the month because Um, On the 10th of this month, Venus is going to be moving into Pisces, which is a lot more nostalgic, sentimental, sensitive, compassionate, loving, romantic, all the things that you are, (laughs) and then some. But um, it's going to be a great Valentine's Day with Venus and Pisces. Um, It's going to be just a, a really romantic, slower, softer end of the month than it is in the beginning of the month, okay? The beginning of the month is everything is in Aquarius. It's more active, um, but it's still going to be active for you because when planets are transiting Aquarius, uh, your relationship house is activated, and therefore it's great for you hanging out with friends, being social, uh, you know, meeting a love partner if you're looking, um, and all of that. So having Venus move into Pisces is going to heat things up for you because that is occupying your eighth house. And that has a lot to do with other people's money, other people's values, sex, taxes, credit cards, any finances, banks, loans, all that stuff. So you can see some benefits coming in in this area all through February. So February is going to be a really good month for you to collect on any outstanding monies that are owed to you. You can see an increase um, if you work for yourself, uh, an increase in your finances. Uh, If you're waiting on some money that's owed to you, you're likely to get it uh, in the month of February. Uh, while Venus now, actually Venus, uh, on the, from the 10th on, um, you can look to receive this. Uh, also intimacy will be highlighted. Um, you know, it's a, you, you need passion. You, you want to experience love and sex. Um, so Venus transiting the eighth house is actually really quite pleasant on the negative. You can have some power struggles over money, um, or there can be some situation sticky surrounding money. Uh, it really depends. But in the sign of Pisces, I highly doubt it because Pisces is just sensitive and compassionate and giving. Um, So it's a really great place to have Pisces in the eighth house. I mean, honestly, I wish I had it there. Um, So it's going to be, you know, a lot of things are going to be happening for you guys. There's going to be a lot of activity happening um, all about you, all about others, all about other people's money. Uh, it's going to be a good month for money. It's going to be a good month for sex. It's going to be a good month 
for all of that. Um, now, you Mars is transiting the sign of Sagittarius, which is totally awesome because I love Mars and Sagittarius uh, because Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter and it's abundant and it's lucky and it's fire sign. So you have energy and you're active and you're confident and you're willing to take action. Um, so it's an excellent place for uh, Mars to be. And that will be uh, occupying... I'm sorry. It's going to be occupying your fifth house of love and romance. So you are really having a very romantic month for you. Um, it's also creative self-expression and, you know, stepping out there and, and, and getting on your soapbox and saying what you got to say. Uh, this month looks like it's a really, really uh, excellent month for you guys. There's going to be a lot of new opportunities coming to you. Um, and as far as having fun and getting out with friends and being active, Mars transiting the fifth house is one of the best places. Uh, you tend to have a, a, a pretty active social life, a active romantic life. Um, love is in the air. It's perfect for February. Um, it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be an awesome month for just getting along with people, being social, having fun. Um, and you have Jupiter transiting your fourth house of home, which is also awesome because this makes it so your relations with your family are good. You can expand uh, within the home. You can spend more time with family. You can move. Uh, you can find great deals on real estate uh, during this time. I've known a lot of people that have done so. Um, and it just feels good to have Jupiter in the fourth house of home. You have a lot of luck. And if you're working in real estate, you can find benefits there. Um, but you have a lot of optimism and hope in the home and with the family. And, you know, uh, you can even get in touch with long lost family members or people you haven't talked to in a while. They can come resurface. Um, there's just a lot of really positive things happening for you this month. Um, before, you know, right now, the best I guess I could tell you is just to keep planting your seeds, okay? Keep planting as many seeds as you can. Put yourself out there. Uh, meet as many people as possible. Uh, be social. Uh, there's a lot of good things that are going to come to you as a result of this, having all these social houses activated and feeling good about yourself with Jupiter in the fourth. Um, before we go into retrograde mania, which is going to actually begin when Jupiter turns retrograde March 8th, and then it's going to uh, go with Mercury on the 22nd of March. And this year, we're going to have all the planets turn retrograde. So if you want to hear about that, please check out um, my general forecast for February because I do uh, go into detail about all of those. Um, but this is just about going to cover it for you guys. It looks like a fantastic month. It's very social. Love is in the air all over the place. You're going to be feeling really good. Um, new opportunities are opening up for you in terms of partnerships, relationships, um, expressing yourself, your business, pretty much everything. So, hey, have fun. This is Leo style, right? All right. Well, thanks for joining me and please check back in March for my March 2018 forecast. Um, as of now, I'm wishing you a happy February 2018.